And moving uh, forward from uh, very far from that, uh, I'll be giving uh, Fatiha on, 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 on the girls' education, uh, refugees and stateless uh, youths and children, uh, what kind of problems they're facing when they're getting informal education. Uh, as we are aware, there's certain countries that don't provide uh, uh, a full recognized uh, education for refugees and stateless people, uh, children and youth. Uh, so uh, you, as a, as a refugee and uh, as a nurse graduate, and you have been there and educating also uh, refugee kids, uh, do you see any hope in them or do you motivate them that uh, these things will be uh, is a temporary thing and hopefully there will be a future for them to start from over? Uh, I will just uh, give Fatia the floor and try to uh, take us and guide us how, how the children of refugees and stateless are uh, re-emerging uh, through education. Fatia, you have the floor. Yeah, thank you so much, Hamza. And it's very, it's very inspiring when you said, like, is there any hope? Of course, yeah, there is a hope. And, and I also have hope that in the short future, or even if it's a long future, we're still working on it. Although, although that we don't know, like, it, if it's guaranteed that we can create a system, a formal system for the refugee students all over the world, you know, to have a general, general and basic a system that they can follow. So back to back to the refugee as or as a stateless uh, students or as a stateless uh, young individual person. The main the main problem I feel like the main problem that young adults or young refugee uh, children face is when they flee from their country. One of the things that they flee from their country is lack of peace. You know. So once they come here or any once they go to any particular country, the first thing that they will face is lack of information the pa the parent will not know where to go or where to get help from even if they have the capacity and if even if they have the money they will they will they don't have that knowledge or where to take their kids or what to do next so this will for force them since they are refugee to go back to the UNHC or to, or to go back to any organization and seek for help so what these organizations or the UNHC does is they have a communities where they have a school communities so in the school communities, there is no fixed system that will help and guide the child to have a proper and basic uh, education. So, and this will also affect, for example, the child's education. For example, when the child comes from Somalia, maybe he or she was in grade three or grade four. Once they come here, meeting different teachers, meeting different uh, pupils, they will, be for, they will be forced to go back, step behind, a child was standard three. Maybe he, he or she will come here or go to the go to the school, and then they will be asked, "Oh, maybe your education is too le too low. You need to go back to standard one." So this 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 system that is in balance, it will force it will force the student to be dismoral number one, and also it will force the the parents to not believe in that system. And most of the most of the parents will be forced to take. Their, their children from school and make them like stay at home you know some i have seen some parents be saying like oh community students there there's no much um quality education so i rather just let my kid you know stay at home or let my um my girl just walk at home than going and wasting her time at the school so one of the things that i have realized in gender equality or uh, between the, the, the boys and, and the girls, the girls are facing, the refugee girls are facing more pressure compared to the boys. Even if it comes, even if we leave the refugee aside, a normal a normal household, a, a normal Somali household, there is that inequality between uh, both uh, female and male, where you will see a man will be given an opportunity to go and study where a girl is like designed or maybe she is being programmed or to be being programmed just to stay at home, you know, it's not coming from from her, but then it's coming from the you know the 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 environment that she lives in, you know, make she she is forced to believe that she is she has to stay at home and you know take care of the family. So yeah, I think the pressure from the environment. yeah, that's one of the things yeah. that girls are facing nowadays. So yeah. 